Hey everybody, welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting Resort Review. Today we're back at the JW Marriott Phoenix Desert Ridge, checking out their brand new water slide complex. They've added three huge water slides for some of the best resort water slides that I've seen at any resort that I've visited in the world. Uh, so we're gonna check that out, see what else went into the $18 million that they sunk into the pool complex, check out our room, and more uh, around this massive resort here in Phoenix. So let's get started and see how the trip went. Quickly, I'll show you what the pool looked like in 2020. Here's the water slide. Great for little kids, but not amazing for thrill seekers. Uh, when we were here at the new water slide complex, lots of adults in line, uh, so plenty to do for the whole family here. Uh, they did have a lazy river. They've since expanded that, so that is uh, definitely an improvement uh, over our last stay. And this truly is a massive resort with two 18-hole golf courses, pool complex, lots of restaurants, huge convention center, the largest in Phoenix. So lots to see. This video is going to be definitely a long one. If you like these types of videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. I do these videos all the time, uh, all over the world, um, especially in the U.S. and the Caribbean. So first thing I noticed is that there's definitely a renovation that's happened in the hallways and in the guest rooms. Everything seemed fresh and new, which is great to see. Uh, this resort being over 500 rooms gets a lot of traffic, especially with all those conventions. So it's great to see a refresh here. Um, so the, here's just like a typical two queen room. Had a nice little view of the golf course that you'll see in a second. But nice big bathroom with a separate tub from the shower, which is always cool to see. Love the apothecary toiletries at the JW Marriott brands. Though unfortunately not the single use shampoos. And behind the door there is the shower, which I missed the first time coming through the room. But let's check out the rest of the room now. Got a nice little closet for hanging things up. Big convention hotel, so that might happen. If you're here on vacation, probably not a lot of dress clothes that you're bringing, but is available for you if you need it. Two queens right there, very comfortable. Huge TV, I've seen a lot of big TVs in some of the new Marriott renovations with lots of interconnectivity. You can stream, Chromecast, use your Netflix account, I really like that. It's great to have on vacation. Little mini fridge there. Little couch too to allow me to maybe read a book. And then a little balcony overlooking the golf course and fortunately the pond was drained uh, for some renovations but didn't really detract from the view. Overall, a nice little room here at the JW Marriott. So now let's begin our grand tour of this resort. We're starting here in the lobby. Uh, lobby is kind of on the second level technically. So you drive up, ballet's right there. And then now we look down into this grand lobby with this cool fountain that spills down two floors. They are dedicating $80 million to renovating this whole place. Most of it is done. There's still some things to do around the pool area. There's a VIP family area as well as a pure VIP island that they haven't built quite yet or opened. Um, but a lot of the important stuff is now done. Uh, so now we're just going to walk over to the registration area. It's where you check in. Lots of uh, agents there to check you in. So even though this is a pretty big hotel, there wasn't really ever too big of a line, which I uh, definitely credit them for. And so this whole resort, uh, it's indoor and outdoor, uh, pretty big wings on either side. Um, if you don't like a long walk to your room to get to like the pool or the gym, um, this is uh, not the resort for you. So right now we're walking um, actually away from our wing of the resort, walking towards the gym and spa. There's that island that they're gonna build the VIP area in, so that hasn't started yet, so that's probably gonna be open for next summer. But absolutely love the look of this place. I think they've done a nice little refresh. Personally, I love videos on YouTube that show you the entire resort, uh, even some of the hallways. It's kind of fun to get yourself in the mood, so hopefully uh, you enjoy this style video too. So now we're going to check out the spa and fitness center area. So the spa does have a pool that I wasn't able to shoot on this trip. Even if you're not staying at the resort, you can get a day pass for the spa and obviously use the pool, so that is an option for locals. 
or if you're staying nearby, want to save a little bit of money. Uh, unfortunately, this resort uh, does have a $55 per night plus tax resort fee. Uh, it does have a few things included in that. You have some bike rentals, you have uh, tennis court and pickleball access. We'll show you that area in a second, talk about that. Uh, they do get one free dessert each day at one of the restaurants. Uh, we were able to get that to go, and we'll show you that in a bit when we pass that restaurant. Um, so that was about a $15 dessert that we got for free. But overall, uh, a lot of payment for not a lot of benefits or something that probably should just be included in your resort stay. Um, I'm not a big fan of resort fees and try to avoid paying them whenever possible, but even on a stay like this on points, Marriott does charge us the resort fee, which is a little different than Hilton or Hyatt, unfortunately. So now we're making our way to the fitness center area. So one cool thing at this resort is they do give you your room key on your wristband. So I kind of like that at the resorts. Uh, one, you know, it's nice to not have to dig your room key out of your wallet just to open doors all the time. Sometimes the gym or the pool area, you kind of need to do that. Um, you don't have uh, something in your pocket either if you're going in, jumping in the water, but uh, it's nice just to be able to identify for uh, the folks to um, make sure that only the resort guests are using the pool. So pretty massive gym. This is definitely one of the more impressive hotel gyms that I've seen. Uh, a lot of dedication that went into this for sure. Four different Pelotons, which is great. Um, lots of different areas to work out. You have a TRX area, you have separate classrooms. Um, they do have a few fitness classes. Some are charge, uh, some are free. You have this little JW Marriott garden area where they have some fresh herbs that they use in some of the restaurants, which is cool. So we're basically on the eastern edge of the resort right here. We got a lot more to see, so we're gonna keep moving. Not gonna be able to show you the interior of the spa area, unfortunately. Uh, that was closed during my walkthrough. But again, they do have a spa pool. Uh, so if you want something that's a little bit less screaming for the kids, uh, that's gonna be an option. And of course, they're gonna be opening a brand new VIP area just for adults soon. So they do have a little spa bistro, you don't have to walk all the way to the main part of the resort to go get food because that would be a 15 minute walk and not very relaxing. Speaking of not relaxing, we're gonna walk across this incredibly hot parking lot here in the summer in Phoenix and head over to the Racquet Center. So the last time we were here, uh, pickleball really hadn't taken off quite yet, um, but Desert Ridge has definitely gone all in on pickleball. Still have some tennis courts, um, but a lot of them have been torn out and they've added dozens of Pickleball courts and one of the pro pickleball teams actually plays out of here. They had a pro pickleball tournament here. Um, so this is definitely pickleball mecca here in the valley. Uh, definitely a cool option for those that are into the sport. Uh, so we're going to go check out the Racket Center and uh, see what it looks like. One cool thing over here is 
Larry Fitzgerald and Michael Phelps have their own parking spot. They're involved in the pickleball community here, so it's pretty cool to see. One cool thing is they actually have a pickleball center court. So instead of four pickleball courts taking up the size of uh, one tennis court, they have just one huge pickleball center here. That's pretty cool to see. Awesome uh, if you're out here for a tournament, seeing some of the big pickleballers, which I personally don't know any, but for those that are really into pickleball, this is your spot. There's a little center here with restrooms and a little to-go cafe, anything you might have forgotten for your racket sports, so that is an option here. This is also where you rent the bikes for your resort fee. Uh, so you, you have plenty of trails around, uh, lots of um, sidewalks and streets. Um, we did this the last time we were here and there's some undeveloped land that you can ride the mountain bikes on. So uh, not a bad place actually to do that. Uh, a little flat, but uh, you know, here in the summer, um, flat's not bad. Now we're gonna head back towards the resort, on the west side of the resort, uh, enter through the convention center, which is one of the largest in Phoenix, if not the largest. Um, this resort opened 20 years ago and it was the largest when it opened. Uh, and it is truly huge, so we're gonna check that out and then check out uh, more of the resort, including the Wildfire Golf Club. Now, if you are self-parking here, it is $22 per night for resort guests, uh, valet is a little bit more. That is your self-parking lot right there. So if you are self-parking your car, you park right there, walk through the ballrooms here, up the escalator, and then you're at the resort again. Then you gotta find your room. So it is probably a 15 to 20 minute walk for most people, uh, depending on where your room is located here.
how we're gonna head up these escalators and go check out Wildfire Golf Club. Your resort fee does include access to the practice facilities here at Wildfire Golf Club, so if you do have your club but you don't want to play golf, or if you just want to hit some balls, that is an option for you. They do have a practice green as well, so something kind of fun to do, um, especially as a family if you want to go try out some stuff, that is an option. Uh, they do have the Meritage Urban Tavern that we did eat at for lunch. Food was delicious basically American fare, a little bit fancier than normal, really great pretzel rolls, so highly recommend that if you want kind of a more American style lunch, maybe after your round or just as a different option than the pool food. Give you a quick peek at the golf course, I want to walk back inside. Now, as I mentioned, this is a gigantic convention hotel, so lots of space for big convention gatherings, especially in the winter, when it's a little bit nicer outside, so this big event lawn, uh, good for weddings as well. Now we're going to walk towards the main lobby again. We're going to check out some of the shops and restaurants on this side of the resort, as well as the arcade. Just trying to figure out what used to be where the arcade is now. I think it was timeshare sales, but this arcade's pretty big. Uh, lots of pinball machines and stand-up uh, gaming things. So if you are someone who likes to uh, play some video games on vacation in the arcades, uh, this is a pretty cool room actually. Now walking out of the arcade, we're gonna head it back 
to the other side here and see the Starbucks as well as the FedEx Center. So if you need to ship anything, if you're here on a convention, there's that. Starbucks, pretty standard. Gets a long line during the day, of course, in the mornings. And then across from the Starbucks is the resort shop. Really nice stuff in there when it was open, but didn't have what we were looking for, like a swimsuit cover-up, which was a little interesting. Now we're back in the main lobby. So we've done a full loop around the resort. Now we're gonna go downstairs, check out some of the restaurants and then head finally to the pool area. Now they do have a lobby bar here, 26, I believe it's called. To the right there was where Roy's used to be. That was open on our last trip. That has since closed. Over to the left is Tia Maria, which is sort of the Tulum fancy restaurant on property. We, that's where we got this awesome flan dessert for free, well really included in our resort fee. Um, so that's located right there. But now we're gonna walk more towards the fire pits and then past that to the family center and then to the pool complex, which is truly massive and pretty impressive now. Did like this area of the resort, uh, especially in the evening hours when it's a little less hot. They have bags out. You can play some, even some pickleball on the grass, which is kind of fun. So this is a grand walkway to get to the pool area. So during the day, you would show your room key, get a wristband and walk in. This pool does get incredibly busy, so if you want a prime spot for all of your stuff, maybe right next to the Lazy River, I would get here as soon as the pool area opens so you can score a spot. So to the left there is Sedona Cove. And then to the right here is the Lazy River as well as the Water Slide Complex. So we're gonna check out Sedona Cove first. So a lot of these chairs are actually for rent. So you can book those in advance. Uh, if you really do want a spot next to the pool, I probably recommend it at this resort because it's just truly uh, impossible to find a seat if you don't get there right at opening. Kids are allowed in most of these areas. Uh, they do have a pool bar as well as a restaurant right here. So it's where you'd get a lot of that stuff.
Now we're gonna start checking out some of the fun pool area, including the Lazy River and that water slide that you can see off in the distance. So all that construction that we walked around is actually gonna be the new VIP family area. So not an adults only pool, but VIPs for families. So something that you have to pay a little extra for to get in there, maybe have a little bit uh, more space for your stuff, and then you can still access all the fun stuff over here at the Lazy River. So we'll see what that looks like pretty shortly. It seems like it's almost ready to go. So the big changes here, they lengthened this lazy river just a little bit. They redid the island and got rid of the slide. So they had a little mini slide, which funny enough, now the little kids don't have anything, uh, but the big kids have a lot. Uh, so that's kind of funny. You can see the lazy river is very popular. Lots of tubes going around. Uh, it wasn't really that hard to find a tube, um, though I imagine when it gets super, super busy, uh, it might be a little bit more difficult. But the big star here are the three water slides at the top over there. So you do have one tube slide that has a quarter pipe there. That's the only one west of the Mississippi at a resort, which is pretty cool. And you have two body slides that are fully enclosed, or mostly fully enclosed. There's one that we'll show you uh, that opens up towards the end, has a pretty big drop. The Lazy River is open from 10 a.m. to about 8 p.m., I believe. Water slides are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. A little bit of a bummer on a long summer day. Here's the top as I was waiting, so you can check out the golf course there. Nick Faldo designed one, and then Arnold Palmer designed the other one. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, this is the inner tube slide with the half pipe, so you start out going down an enclosed part, and then it opens up and then you shoot down a pretty big drop here and then end up on the half pipe, which is just really, really cool. Really great views of Phoenix from here and then look how much fun they're having. Then this is the slide I'm about to do. This is probably the fast of them. The other um, gully washer slide, the blue one, uh, it's more twists and turns, which is pretty fun. But you take the GoPro down this, big old drop. So overall, that is the JW Marriott Phoenix Desert Ridge. All the new renovations that they've done really has impressed me. I definitely felt like the resort needed it. They have plenty of room to do it, so that was cool that they made the effort and uh, invested the money to make this resort a lot better. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this type of content, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.